What's up, familia? Uh, welcome again to my channel. My name is Rolando Benitez, Cuban saxophone player based here in Houston, and I'm gonna be talking to you today in a deep level about how playing with your mouthpiece can even be dangerous for you as a saxophone player or clarinet player. First than anything, I just want to say thank you for all the support that you showed me in the last video for all the repercussion that has already. I just wanted to say thank you. When I say that you should not practice with the mouthpiece, I am saying this just because it's what is resonating with my philosophy, philosophy, philosophia in Spanish. I don't know how to say it exactly in English. But the point is that resonates with me, you know, and about the approach that I have to the instrument, what I want to achieve with my instrument is exactly and super related, you know, to this opinion of don't practice with your mouthpiece. Why? To make the mouthpiece sound, you have to have a tight embrasure, you have to force, and pretty much your lip is just gonna be covering, you know, your teeth and your teeth are doing the hard work. I remember when I used to practice classical music, I know I was At that time, I remember that it was so painful every morning for me to pick up the saxophone and start practicing. There is a lot of pain related to this kind of embrasure. One of the main reasons why I changed to this kind of embrasure was because it's less painful. So you can practice more, you practice more, you just get better. Sometimes, you know, there was blood in my lips, you know, and I had to rest for a couple of days to get recovered from that, you know, and it was just so painful to play the saxophone. It is not supposed to be like that, look. This reed, so look at this broken reed. That reed is gonna sound like this. It is not the greatest sound, I know, it's not the greatest sound, but it sounds decent. And you know what, you know, if I move my embrasure like to a side, instead of playing my right embrasure, I play just like so it don't matter because the control is in my lip Honestly, what was a click for me and I just decide, you know, to go in a different way in my play was one video. A video by Joshua Redman playing with the Bad Plus. It was playing in Spain, you know, this beautiful night and they were playing a song called People Like You. The humanity behind this kind of sound, you know, was like a big impact on my career. Just that freaking note changed my life. You know? Don't be afraid of show your humanity. Don't be afraid about show that there is some earth in your sound, you know. You can sound good and there is earth, there's still earth. In that also, everything goes to philosophy. Yeah, I'm going too far. But the point is like, you have to accept, you know, that you're a human being, you breathe. There is earth in your voice. There is earth in your voice with the sights of art. And so, just do that, you know. Just accept that you're a human being, you know, just accept your sound, you know, and just be relaxed about it. Yeah, I went too deep with this. I should not post that. Or maybe yes. Maybe I just should accept that I'm a human being and I'm teaching you my experience through the saxophone and how I grew up with the saxophone. Yeah, maybe yes, it's just that. So anyways, you can listen to me or you just cannot. You can agree with me or you just can't. 
but this is just my personal recommendation my personal experience if you want to sound better if you want to have a better relationship with your instrument if you want to connect in a deeper level with your instrument yeah don't practice with your mouthpiece you don't need it you are not wasting your time but you can use your time in a different way and it's gonna be more productive so i love you guys and see you in the next video